Okay, we're continuing with, uh, hi all my friends. <laughs> uh, we're continuing with 1 Kings uh, chapter 3, starting with verse 16, uh, Solomon's wisdom uh, concerning the two harlots uh, <clears throat> and, and how God's wisdom works in Solomon. I remember my father reading this to me when I was younger and asking me what I would have done. I thought, Anyway, I can't remember what I said, but anyway, I do remember that time. Anyway, okay. Um, then there came two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, O oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass that the third day after I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. And we were together, and there was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And the woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thy handmaid slept and laid it in her own bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I had considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is, my, is thy son, and the living is my son. And thus they spoke before the king. Then said the king to the one, saith, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought the sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child into two, and give, give half to one, and the other half to the other. Then spoke the woman who, whose the living child was unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son, and she said, O oh my Lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all of Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you actually are the mother of a child, and it's still alive, you would give your own life up for that child if you were a loving mother. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, chapter 4. Solomon's princes, his 12 officers, his daily provisions, suitable to the largeness and peace of his kingdom in his wisdom. <clears throat> so King Solomon was king over all Israel, and there were princes which he had, um, Azariah, the son of Zadok, the priest, uh, Elahoreph and Ahiah, the sons of Shisha, scribes, uh, Je Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahidlad, the recorder, and um, Benanah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the host, and Zadok and Abithathar were the priests. And Zaariah, the son of Nathan, was over the officers, and Zabud, the son of Nathan, was principal officer and his king's friend. Uh, Ahiashar was over the household, and Adonai Ram, the son of Ad Abda, was over tribute. 
And Solomon had 12 officers all over Israel, which provided visuals for the king and the household. Each man, his month in a year, made provision. And these are their names, the son of Hur in Mount Ephraim, the son of Dakar in uh, Makaz, in Shadadim, in Beth Shemesh, Elon, Bethahan, the son of Hetzed in Arad Both, to him pertain Shokol and all the land of Hefer, the son of Abithadab in the region of Dor, which had Tapath, the daughter of Solomon, to wife. Uh, Bethana, the son of Hadalad, to him pertain to Tananak and Megiddo and all of uh, Beth Shean, which is in, in Zatana beneath Jezreel, from Beth Shen and to Abel Mehala, even to the place that is beyond Jokanim, the son of Geber in Ramoth Gilead, to him retain the towns of Janar, the son of Manasseh, which are in Gilead, to him retain the regions of Agab, which is in Bashan, the three score great cities with walls and, bra and brazen bars. Ahithadab, the son of Adu, Adu had Mahananim, and Ahimazad was in Nethtali, and he took Basmath, the daughter of Solomon, to wife, and Bana, the son of Hashai, was in Asher and in Aloth. Jehoshaphat, the son of Parana was in Ishakar. <clears throat> Shammai, the son of Elah, in Benjamin. Gerber, the son of Uri, was in the country of Gilead. In the country of Shio, the king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. And he was the only officer which was in the land. Judah and Israel over many, as the sand which is by the, the sea and multitude, eating and drinking and making merry. Solomon reigned over all kingdoms from the rivers of the land of the Philistines unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents and served Solomon all the days of his life. Solomon's provision for one day was 30 measures of fine flour, three score measures of meal, 10 fat oxen, 20 oxen out of the pastures, a hundred sheep besides hearts and roebucks and fallen deer and fattened out fowl. And he had dominion over all the regions on this side of the river from Tifsa even to Azza, all over the kings on the side of the river. He had peace on all sides round about him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, every man under his vine, under his fig tree, from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. And Solomon had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots, 12,000 horsemen. All of those officers provided visuals for the King Solomon and for, and for all that came unto King Solomon's table. Every man in his month, they lacked nothing. Barley, also straw for the horses, uh, dromedaries brought they into the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding succeedingly much, largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt, for he was wiser than all men. Then Ethan and Ezra height, the Heman, the Chalcol, the Dar Da, the sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all nations round about. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is Lebanon, even into the hyssop that springeth out of the well. He spoke also of beasts, of fowl, of creeping things, and of fishes. And there came of all the people to hear the wisdom of Solomon, 
from all kings of the earth which had heard of his wisdom. Okay, I'm going to stop there. We're on chapter 5. So I think that's enough videos for one day. But anyway, it's it's going to get good. We're going to hear more more stuff about him and and what he what he did for the people. But boy, man, he just <laughs> he had a lot of stuff. It, oh my gosh. I mean, wow. 12,000 horsemen. Holy cow. <laughs> that would have Man, I would love to see that. Wouldn't you love to see that? You know, I, I wish I could like go back and just, I love time machines. Anything to do with time, uh, going not having time. I just I, any movie that has to do with any time travel. I I don't know. I I really dig that. I the the first time I ever saw the time machine movie, uh, I I was like, wow. You know, wouldn't that be cool? I love history. I love. I would love to go back and see these things. Um, you know, I keep hearing that there is a library in heaven. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that, you know, it's like one of those things where I can just look at everything that really happened, you know, on earth and really see what was really going on, uh, even to, the, to my time, you know, and beyond, just to see what, you know, what happens in the future. If I'm not here, you know, um, I just think that would be so cool. <laughs> I know, <laughs> eh, maybe not your thing, but it's mine anyway. Okay, have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon, and do leave me a thumbs up, like, share, and all that good stuff. Do remember to pray and and um, uh, listen for God's voice. Okay, bye bye.